Hi guys, Melissa Giles here again, just coming back to you, speaking about Romans and chapter 15. We are now on chapter 15 and talking about um, before what we have learned so far in past videos that I've been making today is um, for one, the Ten Commandments, um, obeying them. Um, why we're doing the things that we're doing when we don't want to do it, which was the original question. And um, f knowing that we have to um, change from walking into fl from flesh into spirit, when we start doing that, it starts changing our way of thinking in which um, we are predestined in that way, how our troubles and tribulations throughout our life uh, means that we're called and predestined and um, how to have faith. And so um, we're on chapter 15 now, and we've talked about the Ten Commandments again in the last chapter, obeying them, and then also like not judge, judging anybody. And so here we go. Um, we who are strong have an obligation to bear with the, the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good to build him up. We have, we have too, too many people that are trying to tear down people because of jealousy or envious or what, whatever, whatever. For Christ did not please himself, but it is written, the reproaches of those who reproach you fell on me. For whatever was written in former days are written for our instruction that though endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures that we may have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another and according to Jesus Christ, that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God, right? For I tell you that Christ became a servant to the circumcised to show God's truthfulness in order to confirm the promise given to the the partridge, patriots. I don't. I. I'm sorry. I don't know that word. Um. I don't know. And in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for His mercy, as it is written, therefore I will praise you among the Gentile Gentiles and sing to your name. And again, it is said, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with His people. And again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all of the peoples extol Himself. And again, Isaiah said, the root of Jesse will come, even he who arises in rule, the Gentiles, and in him will the Gentiles hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. You know, so the Holy Spirit fills us. Jesus fills us. God fills us. I myself am satisfied about you, my brothers, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge. And able to instruct one another. So whatever you learn, then obviously you would want to teach, right? Especially if it's worked really good in your life. But on some points I have written to you very boldly by way of reminder because of grace given me by God to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles in the priestly service of the gospel of God so that the offering of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, and I have reason to be proud of my work for God. For I will not venture to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me to bring the Gentiles to obedience by word and deed, by the power of signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and all the way around to... Um, uh, help me, God. Um, Iricum. I have failed the ministry of the gospel of Christ, and thus I might, I make it my ambition to preach the gospel, not where not where Christ has already been named, lest I build on someone else's foundation. But it is written, those who have never been told of him will see, and those who have never heard will understand. This is the reason why I have so often been hindered from coming to you. But now, since I no longer have any room for work in these regions, and since I have longed for many years to come to you, I hope to see you in passing as I go to Spain and to be helped on my journey there by you once I have enjoyed your company for a while. At present, however, I am going to Jerusalem, bringing aid to the saints. <laughs> um, for Macedonia and Arcadia and Archaea have been 
pleased to make some contribution for the poor among the saints in Jerusalem. For they were pleased to do it, and indeed they owe it to them. For if the Gentiles have come to share in their spiritual blessings, they ought also to be of service to them in material blessings, right? So we, we walk in spirit, we don't have material things. When therefore I have completed this and have delivered to them what, have been, what has been collected, I will leave for Spain by way of you. When therefore I, I, oh, excuse me. I know that when I come to you, I will come in the fullness of the blessing of Christ. I appeal to you, brothers, by our own, G, our, our, our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit, to strive together with me in your prayers to God on my behalf, that I may be delivered from the unbelievers in Judea, and that my service for Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints. Those are chosen people who were chosen by God, predestined, right? So that by God's will I may come to you with joy and be refreshed in your company. May the God of peace be with you all. Amen. See, the joy that we get from God, see, joy is earned. You know, joy is complete peace, understanding, and and just you just have no worries. It's faith. I command to you, our sister Phoebe, a servant of the church at Sincre, that you may welcome her in the Lord in a way worthy of the saints and help her in whatever she may need from you. For she has been a patron of many and of myself as well. Greet Preca and Achilla, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who wrecked their necks for my life, to whom not only I give thanks, but all of the churches of the Gentiles give thanks as well, because they taught them. Greet also, Greek also the church in their house, Greek my beloved, Ephantus, who was the first convert of Christ in Asia. Greet Mary, who has worked hard for you. Greet uh, Akronikos and Junia, my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners. My fellow prisoners, They are well known at the apostles, and they were in Christ before me. Greet Anthletus, my beloved in the Lord. Greet Ubanus, our fellow worker in Christ, and my beloved as he's heard, they, these names are hard. <laughs> Stacks, I guess. Greet Aphilus, who is approved uh, in Christ. Greet those who belong to the family of Aristobulus. Greet my kinsman Herodion. Greet those in the Lord who belong to the family of Narsus. Greet those workers in the land, Trypenia and Trihosa. Greet the beloved person. Persia, who has worked hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, chosen in the Lord, also his mother, who has been a mother to me as well. Greet Anct Anctionus, Belong, Hermes, Patrobas, Hermes, Hermes again, okay, and the brothers who are with him. Greet Philokos, Julia, Nurus, and his sister, and Olympias, and all the saints who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All of the churches of Christ greet you. Greet one another with a holy kiss is, is loving your neighbor. So when you're greeting somebody with a holy kiss, you're simply loving your neighbor. You're loving your neighbor like God. You know, so if somebody's doing you wrong or whatever, you know, greet them with a holy kiss and just know that God will take care of it. That's powerful. Greet them with a holy kiss. Um... I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and uh, create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them. For such people do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites, and by smooth talk and flattery they deceive their hearts of the naive. Yeah, unfortunately. For your obedience is known to all, so that I rejoice over you. But I want you to be wise as to what is good and innocent as to what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. Yeah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you. So does Lucius and Jason and so so oh, so a tater, my kinsman. Iteris, who wrote this letter, greet you greet you in the Lord. Gaius, who is a host to me and to the whole church, greets you. Arachis, the city treasurer, and our brother 
Cordis greet you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and preaching the uh, Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept for secret for a long ages. And I think he's saying like, well, actually, no, I take that back. It's, it's just, it, the mystery is about faith. And I don't know like what he means by kept for secret for long ages. Um, because as far as, I was taught that faith starts in Exodus, which is the second book in the Bible. So I don't, I'm not exactly sure what that means, you know. Um, but has now been disclosed and through the prophetic writings has been made known to all nations according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith. To the only wise God be glory forever more through Jesus Christ. Amen. And that is what it, Romans is. So I hope you enjoyed my um, teachings and please, you know, like I say, I'm an open book. I'm open to uh, any comment, whether it be good or bad. Um, yeah, so I appreciate you all and just know, you know, that why we do, why we do what we don't want to do and do the very thing that we hate is because we're living by flesh and we're not living by spirit. And we can't live by the spirit if we don't know what the law is. So we can't be living by spirit if we're hanging around the wrong people. We can't be living by spirit if we don't have faith. So, um, you know, um, I hope you enjoy this teaching. Again, leave me a comment, share my videos if you got anything out of it. Maybe somebody out there needs to hear the same thing. So, um, again, I love you guys with all of my heart, and we'll see you soon. Bye.